Hi everyone. So today we are going to see how to make an origami rabbit. This is a very simple rabbit which is based on the water bomb base and the link to that can be seen on the top. So without further ado, let's start holding this rabbit. So for a water bomb base, we will have to start with a square sheet of paper and uh, what we do is we firstly take this corner and put it on the other corner, the one which is diagonally opposite to it. So we've gotten a diagonal crease like this. Similarly, we want a diagonal crease like this. So we'll do it in the other direction as well. So now, as you all can see, we have gotten a cross over here. So we'll turn this around and we want a plus over here. So for that, we'll take this crease and we'll fold it on top of the other crease. Now for this one, again we'll do the same thing, we'll put this here, you all can see that we have gotten a plus and if I turn this over, we have gotten a cross, so uh, the cross over here is coming out in a valley and the plus is coming out in a mountain. So with this, it is very simple to assemble this into a water bomb, we just have to pinch these two together. And there we go. So I'll do this again. This is a very simple process. And I suppose most of you might have already made a water bomb before. So we just bring all these four points which the uh, plus is making together. And there we get the water bomb. Okay, so we have flattened it out. So this is the water bomb base. So for making a rabbit, we'll firstly try to do what we do while making a water bomb or a balloon. We'll take, uh, for one of the sides, we'll take uh, these corners and we'll put them on this uh, vertex over here. The same thing over here with the one opposite. Okay. And we'll completely make the water bomb over here. What I mean by that is we'll take uh, these corners of these triangles We'll put them on the center line, similarly over here, okay, and then to complete the water bomb, we'll just push these flaps. Now you can see that there's this space formed over here, there's this space formed over here, so we can put these flaps inside the space as we do in the water bomb. And uh, some, similarly, we'll do it over here as well. We'll push this inside these flaps. And there you go. So you all can see we have gotten this sort of a shape. Now we turn this over. And after turning this over, this wide side, we'll take it and uh, we actually want to fold it on the other direction. So this side, see, this is the triangle. So there's this base of the triangle and there are these two sides. So we'll take this side and we'll actually put it on this half line. So this side on this half line. Similarly, the other side on the other half, on this half line. Now we want to open it while hinging it from this corner. And we want to open it while it becomes parallel see this and this have to be parallel while it's hinging over here so you can see that what i'm doing is i'm making this side parallel over here right so there we go this has become parallel now and similarly over here we'll do exactly the same thing mirroring what we did on that side and we get this with this, what we'll do is this edge, we'll take it and we'll fold it on this half line. And we'll complete the crease. Similarly, for this edge, we'll take it and fold it on this half line. So you see, I've taken this edge and this half line, which is there, I'll fold it here. And that makes a rabbit. So uh, like in the water balloon, we'll have to blow over 
so if you try to open this, you will see a small hole over here. So if I blow this over, my rabbit comes into existence. Now to make it look a bit more nicer, what you can do is you can try to open up these ears a bit. And there you go. Happy folding.